students today i am going to talk about how to express rate for any chemical reaction so there are two ways to expressing rates you have the way that you can express rates by using a universal equation so this is your universal equation and the second one is by using arnier's model which is another very valid way that you might see rates expressed and can be useful in understanding why rates change as you start changing components of the environment so the universal equation that you can see over here so this is your reversible reaction so uh, universal equation that you can use is the a uh, forward uh, rate so here you can see it's a forward rate uh, forward rate is equal to is equal to rate constant so this is your rate constant uh, which is uh, uh, which is experimentally determined times this is what it's a reactants raised to coefficient right which is not always uh, this coefficient which here you can see so this coefficient is not all, always going to be the stoichiometric coefficient but uh, sometimes will be so here you can see uh, uh, we have two types of equation one is the elementary equation and second one is the non elementary equation so for the elementary equation uh, this exponent or this power is always equal to the stoichiometry of the a uh, balanced equation right and for the non elementary equation uh, it is not equal to uh, the stoichiometric coefficient right so here uh, it can be in in case of elementary equation it 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 can be uh, it is equal to a into alpha and b is equals to beta for in case of elementary equation right but in case of non elementary equation a is not equal to alpha and b is not equal to beta and this is for non elementary equation fine so you can always express a uh, rate using this formula the rate of the forward forward reaction equals to some rate constant times the reactants raised uh, their stoichiometry not raised uh, to their stoichiometric coefficient but some coefficient other way uh, that you can express rates in formula is using the model developed by arnius uh, when he discovered a way of uh, interpreting rates based upon the collisions and arnius's understanding was that in order for a reaction to occur you used several conditions to be met so first you need to have the two molecules or atoms that are being uh, interacted with uh, they have to be oriented in the proper way example if there are two mo different molecules so consider this is a one molecule and this is the different molecules right so i could not attach this mobile to the cord if the mobile was not oriented the right way right agar aap consider kar rahe ho ye dono cheezo ko uh, different different molecules to so, attach nahi honge inke beech mein koi bhi attachment nahi hoga agar unka orientation correct nahi hai and orientation correct hone ke sath sath aapko attach karne ke liye jab collision hota hai ya koi bhi uh, atoms or molecules attach hote hain so they need some kind of energy fine so uh, the first thing is uh, the orientation it should be in the right way so it would need to be oriented according to this way but you can't do it just with that you also need a sufficient amount of energy so arnius came up with the formula formula where a uh, rate constant right a is equal to a a is here it arnius constant or uh, in some books or some places we use uh, k which is again a rate constant it's, uh, it's a constant and the value of these constant we can determine experimentally e is here it is a euler's constant 
and the value of this is around 2.7 right and uh, it's around 2.7 raised to the uh, power of minus ea which is the activation energy this is activation 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 energy divided by r which is gas constant and the temperature in kelvin and one thing uh, about this formula that you can note is that rate increases as you have a lower activation energy or higher temperature and the reason behind this is uh, because this is a negative exponent you can see over here this is a negative exponent and if you have a negative uh, exponent you are going to have a, a biggest value if your negative exponent is very small uh, it's much easier to have uh, this happen if you are raising e see if you are raising e to the power uh, e to the power minus 1 rather than rather than e e raised to the power minus 5 so for example e raised to the power minus 5 is a very very small value you can see over here if you compared with this so what it means that uh, it means that rate of reaction jo hoga kisi bhi reaction ke liye wo bahut slow hoga so to increase the rate of any reaction aap kya karoge aap जो एक्सपोनेंट है राइट दिस द वैल्यू एक्सपोनेंट में एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी को आप क्या करोगे लोअर रखोगे और टेम्परेचर की जो वैल्यू है उसको हाई रखोगे राइट सो बिकॉज टेम्परेचर इट इट इज इन द डिनोमिनेटर एंड एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी इज इन द न्यूमिनेटर सो जब आप इसको डिनोमिनेटर uh, की वैल्यू ज्यादा रखोगे और इसकी वैल्यू कम रखोगे तो यहाँ पर जो वैल्यू आएगी दैट विड बी लेसर एंड एक्सपोनेंट में है तो ऑफकोर्स आपकी जो रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन है वो क्या हो जाएगा आपका राइज हो जाएगा और इंक्रीज हो जाएगा सो दीज आर द टू वेज दैट यू कैन इंक्रीज रेट एंड दीज शुड बी फेयरली इंक्लूटिव इफ यू इंक्रीज टेम्परेचर तो क्या होगा टेम्परेचर uh, इंक्रीज करने से जो कोलाइजन है बिटवीन द टू मॉलिक्यूल्स वो भी इंक्रीज हो जाएगा राइट सो इफ यू इंक्रीज टेम्परेचर यू हैव मोर कोलाइजन कोलाइजन विथ ग्रेटर एनर्जी एंड इट मेक्स सेंस दैट द रिएक्शन कैन हैपन बेटर एंड इफ यू रिड्यूज द एक्टिवेशन एनर्जी इट्स गोइंग टू बी must easier to reach that transition state and then move into the newly bonded uh, reaction okay and ye hi humko chahiye ki aapka jo aap transition state pe pahunch jao and then after the transition state you will get the newly bonded reaction or finally you will get your product so these are the two ways to express the rate right either you can use the universal equation or you can use the arnes model in case of universal equation you just need to remember one thing that this relation is only cares about the reactant you can see over here so this re, uh, relation only cares about the reactants uh, uh, not about the products and one more thing uh, that the exponents right this alpha and beta this the the exponents do not always corresponds to its stoichiometry but they often do so hopefully you will be able to understand it's a very simple uh, concept thank you